सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल सो गाइज टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ अंडर वाटर लोगो एनिमेशन गाइज आई एम नॉट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी एड ऑन एंड प्लग इन सी गाइज दैट रियली कूल सो गाइज रियली सिंपल एंड बेस्ट ट्यूटोरियल फॉर बिगनर्स एंड नाउ गाइज आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ एक्ट सो स्टॉप एंड गाइज गो टू फाइल एंड आई क्रिएट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट सो गाइज न्यू कंपोजिशन चेक एंड गाइज सी दैट्स माई कंपोजिशन इम लाइक अ मूवी लोगो and guys duration 10 second is good for me and use full hd frame and press okay yeah and now guys import your logo see guys that's my logo and import so select and drag and drop on main com like this right okay so see guys that's my of the movie logo and now guys go to on here and pre composition so guys composition name like a logo and of the and guys move all attribute check and press okay yeah okay so guys next one i take new solid layer solid layer and press okay so guys color i like black and guys press okay so guys go to on effect and presets and type fracture noise select fracture noise and apply on solid layer like this yeah okay so guys now go to on here that's my basic to use this one rocky effect yeah and next one guys go to on here that's my contrast contrast i like 300 enter yes right okay so guys next one go to on here brightness and guys brightness i take like a black color like a minus 200 yeah black and guys brightness check and now guys go to like a 2 second to frame and guys brightness i like white color like a uh, 200 yes and guys brightness check and next one guys go to like a uh, guys 7 second 7 and guys press u and brightness check on 7 second 200 frame actually 200 brightness and next one guys go to like a uh, 9 second and brightness minus 200 enter yes right okay see guys that's my brightness zero frame minus 200 and guys go to like a 2 second 200 go to like a 7 second same 200 and guys 9 second minus 200 yes okay so guys select your all keys and press f9 yeah and guys go to back and play yeah it's good simple right okay so guys now go to on here that's my select your logo and guys see that's my luma mat check yeah and guys go to back and pre again preview check yes right see guys that's my simple animation and guys go to uh, like uh, yeah great okay so guys select your this one and press u and guys select this one and graph editor little bit change like this yeah that's it guys okay so guys one more time go to back and play yeah that's it guys right okay see guys that's my first effect first and guys select your already cut and guys go to on here that's my project and guys go to on here that's my new composition check and guys composition name like a logo animation yeah all is good and press okay and next one right click go to a new and i take solid layer like a mat yeah and press okay so guys effect and presets and type same fracture noise apply on mat layer yeah okay so guys go to on here basic type basic and noise and i use spline yeah and now guys go to on here that's my contrast is good and brightness i like randomly like a 40 yeah it's good and guys scale size increase so go to on transform and scale size like a 150 yeah and complexity i like one check and see guys that's my evolution guys i create animation so guys go to zero frame and evolution check and guys go to like a 9 second and evolution i like take a 2 is good enter yes and guys see that's my random seat like a 1000 randomly yes 
and guys go to back and now guys press u and select your keys and press f9 so guys f9 check yeah that's it guys and guys go to back and play yeah see guys that's my effect right like a blurry effect okay so guys next one all is good select your mat and duplicate press ctrl d that's my mat one yeah and guys select your mat and now guys i change black effect so brightness like a minus 60 i create darkness so guys scale size a little bit increase like a 200 enter yeah and guys random seat go to on here and guys change like a 1500 enter yeah that's it guys that's my second mat and preview check yeah it's good right okay so guys stop and one more time press ctrl d like a mat 2 and guys now i change brightness so brightness 20 yeah and random seed change like a 2000 is good enter yes that's it guys right i apply three type of blurry effect that's my third one okay so guys next one go to on here that's my project and now i select your movie logo this one and guys drag and drop on here yeah and guys go to back and preview check yes okay so guys hide your fracture noise effect and now guys go to our movie logo and guys effect and presets and guys type guys i create blurry effect so use camera camera lens see guys that's my camera lens blur apply to our movie logo like this guys see that's my blurry effect and guys increase radius like a 15 yes and guys see that's my finger like zero and see guys that's my blur map so guys go to on here none to use this one that's a matte one like this and guys see that's my little bit blurry effect and guys see that's my effect mask check and guys all is good luminance check and guys now guys one more time go to an effect and presets and type set matte see guys that's my set matte so drag and drop and see guys that's my matte so use this time one first one matte one yeah and see guys that's my source so use effect and mask and use from matte i use luminance yeah much better right see and guys preview check so now guys i create waving effect on text and logo so stop and guys go to effect and preset and type this time turbulence select your turbulence displays and apply yeah and guys see amount half like a 25 and size 50 yes and now guys go to on here evolution here and guys evolution zero and check and now guys go to like a nine second and evolution i like two enter and guys all is good so guys go to on press u and guys select your keys and press f9 f9 check so guys preview check yeah see guys that's my like a wave effect right it's looking really good and next one guys i apply glow effect so guys stop and guys go to on effect and preset and type glow select your glow and apply to on movie logo and guys see that's my threshold i like 80 radius 100 enter and guys intensity increase like a 2 is good right it's looking really good right okay so guys all is good that's my first effect so guys now next one i create directional blur effect so guys go to on here and fold all effects and next one guys select your movie logo and duplicate press ctrl d yes so guys delete your effect and preset lens blur delete and next one guys i apply this time directional blur so directional see guys that's my directional blur apply to on movie logo 
yes and guys see that's my blur direction is good and increase blur length like this like a 300 enter yeah see guys that's my really cool effect and now guys directional blur go to an up like this and one more time go to back and play see guys that's my really cool directional blur effect and guys little bit change blur length like a 250 yeah it's good and now guys delete your glow yeah much better okay so guys next one i apply fast blur fast box blur apply and radius like a two and interrogate i like one yeah great right okay so guys see that's my final text effect and now guys go to on preview check okay so guys my effect in finish and next one guys i apply flow so guys for flow so guys i create go to on project and create new comp like a flow enter yeah and guys i create new solid layer and guys effect and preset anti fracture noise select fracture noise apply to on black solid layer and guys contrast like a good and guys i change scale size so scale size ununiform scale size check and breadth size increase like a 200 is good and guys height i like 50 yes and guys go to on switch mode and 3d check and now guys press rotation check and minus 90 so guys go to down like this and next one guys i increase this flow effect and so use motion tile select motion tile apply to on black solid layer and guys breath output 300 height 300 yes good okay so guys my flow is finished and next one guys i create new solid layer actually this one new composition check like a final logo and press ok yeah so guys now go to on here that's my flow so drag and drop and next one guys go to on here that's my logo animation check and drag and drop and guys preview check yeah see guys that's my logo and flow so guys hide this flow so select your logo animation and press ctrl d so guys rename like a logo animation shadow enter yes and now guys i take adjustment clear go to one mate and next one guys this time i apply compound blur select compound blur and apply to one adjustment yes and guys select your logo animation and guys 3d check and rotation press r so rotation change so guys go to down like this yeah it's good right okay so guys now go to on here adjustment layer and see guys that's my compound blur so use flow yeah much better see guys that's my beautiful effect right and guys select your logo and press p position change like this yeah it's looking really good right and guys now go to back and preview check yes see guys that's a really cool blur effect and now guys stop select your adjustment layer and maximum blur increase like uh, 50 is good 50 yes and guys next one you can create more brightness on shadow so guys this time i apply cc glass select cc glass apply to on adjustment layer actually this one shadow and guys surface softness zero and lighting 200 yes see guys that's my shiny effect right and same 200 yes see guys that's my shiny effect right okay so guys all is good and next one guys go to on preview preview check yeah and fit 200 percent check 
yes great okay so guys lastly you can also create color correction so guys go to one here project and one more time that's my create new com like a uh, final render yes and guys press ok yeah and next one guys go to on here that's my final logo so select your final logo drag and drop yes and guys i create background so use solid layer and solid layer i like dark blue color like a 250 40 and 10 and press ok and go to down yeah that's my blue effect and next one guys i create new adjustment layer for color correction and guys go to one here effect and reset and type sharp select your sharp effect apply and guys amount like a 50 yeah it's looking really good and guys now i apply also curve effect select your curve apply on adjustment layer and little bit up like this and down much better and guys use red color so red color change like a dark blue yeah for underwater effect yes okay see guys that's my final work and guys preview check see guys that's my final like a underwater typography and logo and guys uh, one more time preview check that's it guys that's it guys okay so guys my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel and guys stop and guys preview check so guys you can download this project file and my logo from my website it's free thank you